Step into a world where the unimaginable becomes reality as we uncover the 20 most chilling recent discoveries. Prepare to have your senses assaulted and your beliefs shaken as we delve into the realm of the macabre. From spine-chilling phenomena in the natural world to sinister findings in the realms of science and technology, these discoveries will leave you questioning the very fabric of our existence. Brace yourself for encounters with ancient curses, mysterious cosmic anomalies, and mind-altering discoveries that challenge our understanding of the world. Join us on this bone-chilling journey as we confront the terrifying discovery that awaits us. Number 20. Existence of Superbugs You know, we've been thinking a lot lately about those superbugs we keep hearing about. You know what it is? Well, superbugs are germs that have become resistant to the drugs that should eradicate them. Often, those antibiotics-resistant bacteria that are becoming such a huge problem. Apparently, they can evolve to resist our medicines through genetic changes or by stealing genes from other bugs. Crazy stuff. Two of the superbugs that are really worrying are methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus and Carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus is that flesh-eating staph infection you do not want to mess with. We've heard it can be almost impossible to treat once it gets really bad. And carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteria C is one of those nightmare hospital germs. If you catch one of those bugs, the average antibiotic just isn't going to cut it. Your doctor is going to have a much harder time curing you. It's pretty scary to think that our basic medicines might not work on certain infections someday. I just hope scientists can stay a few steps ahead of these evolving superbugs who wants to end up really sick or worse just because our drugs stopped working. Fingers crossed they come up with new treatments before it's too late. This superbug stuff is no joke. Number 19. Oldest Black Hole They just announced the discovery of the oldest black hole ever found, and it would give you chills. Astronomers spotted this thing called J0313-18-0. 6. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array Radio Telescope in Chile. Get this, they estimate it formed a staggering 13 billion years ago, not long after the Big Bang. Can you even imagine how early that is? We're talking practically at the very beginning of the entire universe. To think this monster black hole was already gobbling up everything around it way back then is utterly mind-boggling. It must have been massive, too, with a whopping 800 million times the mass of our sun. No wonder they're calling it the most distant black hole yet detected. Even crazier is that this primordial black hole existed so early that the universe around it was still mostly dark. Galaxies and stars were only just starting to form out of the primordial hydrogen and helium gas. It would have been shrouded in a thick veil of dark neutral hydrogen during the era known as the Cosmic Dark Ages. Totally impossible for us to see directly with regular telescopes. Just trying to picture what the early universe looked like with this gargantuan, impossibly ancient black hole lurking in the darkness gives me serious chills. It reminds us that these things have been growing and devouring material for billions of years before Earth or our solar system even came into existence. J0313-1806 is without a doubt the most terrifying grandfather of all black holes. A true cosmic monster from the very dawn of time, its discovery has certainly blown minds. Number 18. Climate Change from everything you might have noticed so far, it's pretty undeniable that humans are the primary cause of climate change through the types of activities we do, like burning oil, gas, and coal in our cars, power plants, and factories. All that stuff we emit into the air like carbon dioxide and methane are trapping heat and warming up the whole planet. Remember learning in science class that a lot of these greenhouse gases came from things that seemed pretty normal too, like cutting down forests for farmland. Trees absorb carbon dioxide as they grow, so less trees means less absorption and more carbon hanging around in the sky. And then there's the fossil fuels we dig up from underground that keep carbon locked away for millions of years, but we just burn it all up and release it in no time flat. When you think about how much we've changed things, it's kind of mind-blowing. The impacts of climate change are really starting to pile up too. The Arctic ice caps and glaciers all over are melting way faster than expected. If that ice keeps disappearing, 
sea levels are going to rise significantly within our lifetime. We're also seeing stronger, wetter hurricanes along with worse droughts and wildfires because of the heating. It's also hurting wildlife and their natural habitats. Whole ecosystems are under threat as temperatures and weather patterns shift. I've read that many species just can't adapt quickly enough to survive. And agriculture is taking a hit too, since crops depend on stable weather. That's worrying when you think about feeding billions of people. When you add it all up, climate change is becoming a serious, terrifying problem that we all need to work on solving together. It just feels too risky to keep prioritizing short-term profits over our shared future on this planet. I really hope we're able to curb our greenhouse gas emissions before it's too late to avoid the worst impacts of warming. Our kids and grandkids deserve a stable climate too. Number 17. Mass Extinction Can you even imagine that many species completely disappearing forever? It really gives all kinds of feels thinking about there being way fewer animals in the world. From what we understand, there are a few big reasons for what's going on. We're destroying natural habitats like rainforests and coral reefs at an alarming rate, and we keep pumping all kinds of nasty pollution into delicate ecosystems. Plus, climate change has been throwing things totally out of whack. Not to mention how we just take whatever we want from nature without giving anything back. It's wild to learn that scientists estimate over a million species could go extinct if we don't do something quickly. When you stop and think about how many plants and creatures we share this planet with, losing that much biodiversity would be devastating. Like imagine there just being no more tigers, elephants, polar bears. It would be heartbreaking. And apparently it's not just about saving cute koalas and pandas. When whole sections of the web of life disappear, the functions they provide get messed with too. Without bees to pollinate, we lose tons of crops. And when predator populations collapse, prey animals overrun the landscape. Everything is so intertwined. We need it all to survive. At this point, we've really got to get serious about protecting what's left and repairing the damage done. I just hope it's not too late to turn things around before we lose species we never even discovered. Our planet feels a lot smaller without all the amazing biodiversity out there. Number 16. Grand Canyon Discovery the Grand Canyon has always fascinated scientists and tourists alike with its rich geological history. Recently, new discoveries have added to its allure and raised intriguing questions. Ancient fossilized footprints were unearthed in the Mana Catcher, a sandstone formation, dating back 313 million years. These footprints, the oldest vertebrate tracks ever found, revealed insights into early vertebrate movement patterns, showcasing the use of lateral sequence gates. Meanwhile, an explorer named G. E. Kincaid claimed a remarkable find, an underground city hidden beneath the Grand Canyon. According to Kincaid, the entrance to this mysterious cave was located at the end of a 1,600-meter tunnel, around 450 meters below the canyon's sheer wall. The subterranean city displayed impressive architecture, suggesting highly skilled engineers, copper weaponry, tablets adorned with Egyptian symbols, and ancient letters adorned the main chamber walls, reminiscent of an advanced civilization. Further exploration revealed mummified corpses wrapped in black linen. These mummies, all under 2.74 meters in height, were discovered in the Citadel, a vast underground area. Kincaid claimed to have photographed one of the mummies, but unfortunately the photographs have never been found. The discovery of these mummies shed light on the beliefs of the city's ancient inhabitants. Within the Citadel, an idol and a cross-shaped plant were found potentially representing a significant deity in their religious system. Hieroglyphics covered the walls, entrances, and stone tablets. Intriguing researchers, the Smithsonian Institute expressed interest in uncovering the secrets hidden within these ancient symbols. The carvings on the tablets were likely associated with the religion of the southern Arizona people. Notably, the hieroglyphics depicted two animals, one prehistoric and one modern, a fascinating detail that sparked curiosity about the city's timeline and its relationship to different eras. The tombs in the underground city were chilling. Each tomb contained a small seat surrounded by copper cups and shattered sword bits. The urns and cups on the bottom shelves appeared primitive, while those on the upper shelves displayed more intricate designs, suggesting a progression in civilization over time. Strikingly, all the mummies found so far were male, implying that the outside area served as a warrior's barracks. 
Archaeologists have been pondering the nature of the civilization that once thrived in this hidden city, but definitive answers remain elusive. Interestingly, the Hopi Indians have a belief passed down through generations that their ancestors resided in an underworld within the Grand Canyon before emerging. This intriguing lore adds a cultural perspective to the exploration of the underground city. These discoveries provide valuable insights into human evolution and ancient times, offering tantalizing glimpses into a civilization lost to history. However, further research and examination are necessary to fully understand the significance of these findings and unravel the secrets hidden within the depths of the Grand Canyon. Number 15. Nuclear Weapons all the close calls there have been over the years from them being accidentally lost or found in the craziest places are of nuclear weapons, especially from World War II. We read about this one time in the 1960 when a B-52 bomber crashed in North Carolina after a mid-air collision. It was carrying two fully armed hydrogen bombs that went missing for a couple months until they were discovered nearby, completely undamaged. Can you believe how close we came there to a potential accidental detonation right in the southeast U.S.? Or what about that time Spanish turkey hunters stumbled upon a lost nuclear warhead buried in the woods? Or when sailors aboard a U.S. submarine nearly launched its nuclear missiles because of a false alarm during a training exercise? We've come so frighteningly close to disaster just from ordinary human errors and miscommunications. When powerful weapons meant to destroy entire cities can get misplaced or almost launched accidentally, it really highlights how precariously close we are living each day to potential catastrophe. All it would take is one triggered nuke wiping away a major population center to unleash panic and further escalations. Discovering these weapons in a world with such fallible human overseers, we don't know how our luck holds out. It's enough to keep anyone up with fear. Number 14. Cybersecurity Threats Man, if there's one thing that has really started to scare the heck out of you in recent years, it's all the security risks lurking online. You think about how dependent we are on technology for everything these days. The grid, banks, hospitals, transportation, you name it. And it's all potentially vulnerable to the growing threat of cyber attacks. Think about it for a second. Hackers can break into vital infrastructure systems and power grids from halfway across the world if there's a big enough bug. Or ransomware encrypts your hospital records until you pay up. State actors are constantly trying to steal defense secrets and undermine each other in digital warfare. The sabotage possibilities are endless and downright terrifying. What's really unsettling is realizing just how ill-equipped we still are at protecting important networks and information. Like there's this whole shadowy dimension of online threats out there that that most people never even think about. But it only takes one well-executed attack to unleash nationwide panic, or heaven forbid, harm. Who knows how many innocent lives? Just imagine if critical meds or radiation control systems got compromised in certain situations. Sometimes it feels like we're just stumbling blindly into this new digital wild west without fully understanding all the risks. Countries are always playing catch up, and criminals are getting craftier all the time. It's enough to make a person paranoid. At least more people are waking up to reality now. But when basic security can still be bypassed so easily, who knows what nightmares might be just around the virtual corner. Definitely makes online life feel a lot less simple these days. Number 13. Lost Letters of Mary, Queen of Scots The discovery of lost letters belonging to Mary, Queen of Scots, during her captivity under Queen Elizabeth, one of England, has sparked great interest among historians and enthusiasts of British history. These newly found correspondences provide valuable insights into the life, thoughts, and experiences of one of the most iconic figures in European history. Mary, Queen of Scots, was held captive by her cousin, Queen Elizabeth I, for nearly 19 years, from 1568 until her execution in 1587. During this period, Mary's correspondence was meticulously monitored and controlled, with many letters intercepted or destroyed by her captors. However, recent discoveries shed light on a collection of letters that managed to evade confiscation and have remained hidden for centuries. The unearthing of these lost letters offers a unique perspective on the challenges faced by Mary during her captivity. They provide a glimpse into her emotional state, political maneuverings, and attempts to regain her freedom and reclaim the throne of Scotland. 
The letters also shed light on the complex relationship between Mary and Elizabeth, showcasing both their diplomatic exchanges and the underlying tensions between the two monarchs. These newly discovered letters reveal Mary's resilience, intelligence, and unwavering determination to assert her legitimacy and challenge her captivity. They provide a first-hand account of her efforts to rally support from sympathetic nobles and foreign powers, seeking alliances and plotting escape plans. The letters also expose the emotional toll of her extended captivity, as she grappled with isolation, uncertainty, and the continuous strain of being held prisoner. Moreover, the letters shed light on Mary's literary talents and her skillful use of language. Her eloquence and ability to articulate her thoughts and desires are evident in these correspondences. Through her letters, Mary demonstrated her intelligence, political acumen, and unwavering belief in her rightful place on the throne. The discovery of these lost letters also serves as a reminder of the challenges faced by women in positions of power during the Renaissance era. Mary's captivity and the suppression of her correspondence highlight the attempts to control and manipulate her image and influence. It is a testament to her resilience that some of her letters managed to escape these efforts and survive to the present day. The recovery and preservation of these lost letters provide a valuable resource for scholars and historians studying the Tudor period and the intricate dynamics between Mary, Queen of Scots, and Elizabeth I. They contribute to a deeper understanding of the political, social, and personal struggles faced by both women during this tumultuous era. It is important to note that the encrypted method Mary, Queen of Scots, wrote this letter and the efforts to decipher each word proved how important and dangerous encrypted messages can be. Number 12. Giant Earthworm Recently, a remarkable discovery was made in New Zealand that captured the attention of scientists and nature enthusiasts worldwide. The giant worms. These colossal invertebrates, known as the New Zealand giant earthworms, are among the largest earthworm species on Earth and have fascinated researchers with their extraordinary size and ecological significance. These New Zealand giant earthworms can grow up to one meter in length and have a robust muscular body that distinguishes them from their smaller relatives. Their impressive size allows them to perform essential ecosystem functions, particularly in the unique soils of New Zealand. These giant worms are predominantly found in the North Island and parts of the South Island of New Zealand, where they inhabit specific soil types, including heavy clay soils. Due to their burrowing activities, they significantly contribute to soil aeration, water infiltration, and nutrient cycling. Their extensive burrows create channels that facilitate the movement of air and water through the soil, benefiting plant roots, and promoting overall soil health. By enhancing soil nutrient availability, organic matter decomposition, and soil structure, these earthworms play a vital role in supporting plant growth and the overall health of terrestrial ecosystems. The largest worm ever discovered was by a nine-year-old boy, Barnaby Dumigan, who called it a nightmare because it was three foot long and the largest discovered in the area. Or maybe the boy was really scared. The New Zealand giant earthworms are a prime example of the country's exceptional biodiversity, as they are found nowhere else on Earth. Their existence underscores the importance of conserving New Zealand's natural habitats and protecting the delicate balance of its ecosystems. Number 11. Space debris. Another most recent terrifying discovery is space debris. Space debris accumulates in Earth's orbit due to space exploration, satellite launches, and missions. More objects in space increase the risk of collisions and debris creation. Debris includes defunct satellites, discarded equipment, and fragments from past collisions. The main concern is collisions with operational satellites, disrupting crucial services like communication and weather monitoring. Debris also threatens manned missions, as even small pieces pose risks to astronauts and spacecraft. Major collisions could trigger the Kessler syndrome, rendering space regions unusable. Efforts include debris mitigation during launches and operations, disposal plans for satellites, and technologies for debris removal. International collaboration is vital for guidelines, tracking, and removal. Scientists and engineers are actively working to mitigate risks and ensure long-term space exploration sustainability. Number 10. Ocean Acidification Ocean acidification is caused by carbon dioxide dissolving in seawater, which decreases the pH and makes it more acidic. Human activities like burning fossil fuels and deforestation contribute to this process by increasing carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. 
When carbon dioxide reacts with water, it forms carbonic acid and releases hydrogen ions, which lowers the pH of seawater. Ocean acidification has harmful effects on marine life, particularly organisms that rely on calcium carbonate structures like coral reefs, shellfish, and some phytoplankton. It affects their growth, development, and survival. Corals are unable to build and maintain their skeletons, leading to coral bleaching and the degradation of coral reef ecosystems. Shell-forming organisms and some plankton struggle to form and maintain their shells or exoskeletons, weakening their overall fitness and disrupting the food web. Ocean acidification can favor certain species tolerant to acidic conditions while harming others, which has cascading effects on the food chain. To address ocean acidification, it is crucial to reduce carbon emissions, adopt sustainable practices, protect and restore marine ecosystems, and implement measures like marine protected areas and pollution reduction to build resilience. Number 9. Nuclear Accidents Nuclear accidents occur when there is a release of radioactive materials from a nuclear power plant, research facility, or nuclear weapons facility. These accidents can have severe consequences for human health, the environment, and socioeconomic stability. The most well-known nuclear accidents include the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and the Fukushima Daiichi accident in 2011. In the Chernobyl disaster, a reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine experienced a catastrophic explosion and fire, resulting in the release of a significant amount of radioactive materials into the atmosphere. This incident led to immediate deaths, long-term health effects, and the evacuation and displacement of thousands of people. The Fukushima Daiichi accident occurred after a massive earthquake and tsunami in Japan, which caused a series of equipment failures and meltdowns in the nuclear power plant. The accident resulted in the release of radioactive materials into the air and ocean, leading to the evacuation of nearby communities and long-term concerns about the health and environmental impacts. Nuclear accidents pose significant risks due to the potential release of radioactive materials, which can contaminate the air, water, and soil. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause acute radiation sickness, long-term health effects such as cancer, and genetic mutations. Contaminated areas may remain uninhabitable for extended periods, leading to the displacement of populations and significant economic consequences. To prevent nuclear accidents, stringent safety measures and regulations are in place for the operation and maintenance of nuclear facilities. These include measures such as multiple layers of containment, emergency response plans, regular inspections, and strict protocols for handling and storing radioactive materials, continued research and development of safer nuclear technologies, such as advanced passive safety systems and next-generation reactors, are also ongoing to minimize the risks associated with nuclear energy. Number 8. Genetic Engineering Concerns Genetic engineering involves manipulating the deoxyribonucleic acid of organisms to introduce new traits or modify existing ones. While it holds great potential for various applications, including medicine, agriculture, and environmental conservation, there are ethical concerns and potential terrifying risks associated with this technology. One concern is the unintended consequences of genetic engineering. Modifying an organism's deoxyribonucleic acid can have unforeseen effects on its biology or interactions with other organisms in the ecosystem. For example, genetically modified crops may crossbreed with wild relatives, potentially leading to the spread of modified genes into natural populations. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential for genetic engineering to be used unethically or for unintended purposes. The creation of genetically modified organisms raises questions about the potential ecological and health impacts of releasing these organisms into the environment. To address these concerns, regulatory frameworks and risk assessment procedures have been established in many countries to ensure the safe and responsible use of genetic engineering technologies. These regulations aim to prevent or minimize potential risks to human health and the environment by assessing the safety and efficacy of genetically modified products before they are released for commercial use. Number 7. Locust Swarms in East Africa Picture this. Vast landscapes, stretching as far as the eye can see, 
teeming with lush crops that sustain communities and provide livelihoods. Now, imagine that scene transforming into a nightmare, a relentless swarm of locusts descending upon these fertile lands, devouring everything in their path. That's precisely what happened in East Africa during the locust outbreak of 2019 and 2020, a haunting spectacle that left communities shaken and crops devastated. These swarms of desert locusts, notorious for their voracious appetite and destructive power, invaded several countries with an unprecedented ferocity. Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Uganda found themselves at the epicenter of this terrifying phenomenon. These insatiable insects had an insidious appetite, devouring every green shoot, leaf, and plant in their path. Fields that were once vibrant and bountiful transformed into barren wastelands, as if a plague had swept through, leaving nothing but desolation in its wake. The source of sustenance and income were reduced to mere memories. The impact was catastrophic. Farmers watched in despair as their livelihoods crumbled before their eyes. Food shortages loomed on the horizon, threatening the very survival of communities already burdened by poverty and hardship. The locust swarms became a relentless enemy, an adversary that seemed impossible to defeat, leaving communities in a state of fear and uncertainty. Efforts to combat the swarms were Herculean in scale. Aerial spraying of pesticides became a common sight as governments and international organizations rallied together to contain the infestation. Planes soared through the skies, releasing clouds of chemicals to combat the relentless invaders. Ground teams armed with shovels and nets battled against the tides of locusts, desperate to protect what little remained. But the locusts were formidable opponents. Their ability to reproduce rapidly and cover vast distances made them a relentless force, capable of regrouping and reinvading previously cleared areas. After a long and brutal battle, the infestation stopped and the farmlands were restored. Number 6. Blood Cocktail Recently, terrifying discovery was made in Egypt, an ancient blood cocktail that has captured the attention of researchers and archaeologists around the world. Unearthed from the depths of an ancient tomb, this remarkable find offers a unique glimpse into the rituals and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The blood cocktail, a complex mixture containing human blood, dates back thousands of years, providing a direct connection to the rituals and practices of the ancient civilization. The ingredients and preparation methods of this concoction are shrouded in mystery, leaving researchers intrigued and eager to unravel its secrets. The discovery of this blood cocktail raises intriguing questions about its purpose and significance in ancient Egyptian society. It suggests a possible connection to religious or funerary practices, where blood might have played a role in rituals or offerings to deities or the deceased. The careful preservation of this mixture over the centuries adds to its mystique, highlighting its importance and the cultural significance it held. Scientists are now conducting extensive analysis to uncover the composition and properties of this blood cocktail. Through advanced techniques, they hope to determine the origin of the blood, the possible presence of additional ingredients, and the methods employed by the ancient Egyptians to create such a unique concoction. This discovery serves as a proof to the enduring fascination with ancient civilizations and their customs. It provides a tangible link to the past, allowing us to delve deeper into the beliefs and practices of our ancestors. The blood cocktail adds another layer to our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture, shedding light on their intricate rituals, their reverence for life and death, and their complex relationship with the divine. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The Grand Canyon is one of Earth's most beautiful and mysterious places. Its depths stretch seemingly forever, and its sheer size can be breathtaking. But it's not just the physical beauty of the canyon that makes it so mysterious. It holds secrets about our planet's history that have yet to be uncovered. Turns out the canyon might have been home to ancient Egyptians and even giants, and it was proven only to be covered up. Yup, this one's about to take a turn no one was expecting. This is the reason explorers named G.E. Kincaid and his team dig deep and deeper into these caves to unravel discoveries like this in the subscriber's pick sent to us. Discoveries like this that emerge from the Grand Canyon send shock to the whole world. What do you think this is? An alien? Drop your thought in the comment section. Number 5. 20,000-year-old car-sized armadillo. In a remote corner of Argentina, 
A farmer stumbled upon a remarkable discovery that rewrote the history books, a perfectly preserved armadillo dating back an astonishing 20,000 years. This chance encounter has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and provided invaluable insights into the ancient past. The farmer, going about his daily routine, unearthed the ancient remains while tilling his land. To his amazement, he had stumbled upon the remains of an armadillo that had been frozen in time, its features impeccably preserved. The significance of this find immediately became apparent, as it presented an unprecedented opportunity to study a creature from an era long gone. This 20,000-year-old armadillo offers a fascinating window into an ancient world. With its preserved bones, researchers can reconstruct the creature's physical characteristics, lifestyle, and evolutionary history. The armadillo's remarkable state of preservation allows scientists to explore the subtle intricacies of its anatomy and gain insights into the adaptations that helped it flourish in its environment. Beyond its scientific value, this find also captivates our imagination and reminds us of the immense span of time over which life has evolved on our planet. It offers a glimpse into a world vastly different from our own, where giant mammals roamed the earth and ecosystems were shaped by forces now long extinct. Number 4. The Ebola Virus Recent discovery of a new strain of Ebola virus has caused global concern. The severity of Ebola outbreaks and its high mortality rate make this finding alarming. Scientists are urgently studying the virus's genetic makeup, transmission, and severity. Its unknown characteristics raise fears of rapid spread and resistance to existing treatments. The newly identified strain emphasizes the devastating impact of infectious diseases, especially in areas with limited health care. Robust surveillance, quick response protocols, and international collaboration are crucial to containing outbreaks. This discovery highlights the resilience of scientists and healthcare professionals. It emphasizes the need for ongoing vigilance and proactive measures to protect global health security. Understanding this new strain underscores the fragility of life and the importance of preparedness. Strengthening efforts to prevent, detect, and respond to emerging infectious diseases is essential for global safety. Number 3. The Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines are a group of enormous geoglyphs made in the soil of the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. They were created between 500 before Christ and 500 Anno Domini by people making depressions or shallow incisions in the desert floor, removing pebbles, and leaving different colored dirt exposed. There are two major phases of the Nazca Lines, Paracas Phase, from 400 to 200 before Christ, and Nazca Phase, from 200 before Christ to 500 Anno Domini. In the years leading up to 2020, between 80 and 100 new figures had been found with the use of drones, and archaeologists believe that there are more to be found. These ancient designs depict various animals, plants, and geometric shapes, and can only be fully appreciated from the air. The purpose behind the creation of the Nazca Lines remains a subject of debate and mystery. Scholars have proposed several theories, including astronomical markers, religious or ceremonial symbols, or pathways for ceremonial processions. Some believe they were used for agricultural purposes, as water flow patterns might have been associated with the lines. However, the true meaning and significance of the Nazca Lines continue to elude researchers, leaving them as one of the most intriguing archaeological terrifying mysteries of our time. Number 2. Lost City of the Monkey God in 2015, an aerial LIDAR survey uncovered evidence of an ancient and untouched civilization deep within the rainforests of Honduras, commonly referred to as the Lost City of the Monkey God, or Ciudad Blanca. The site is believed to have been inhabited by a mysterious civilization during the pre-Columbian era. It features extensive plazas, mounds, and earthen structures. The dense vegetation and challenging terrain have made exploration difficult, but initial excavations have revealed remarkable artifacts including elaborate stonework, sculptures, and ceremonial vessels. The identity and history of the civilization that inhabited the lost city of the Monkey God remain largely unknown, sparking great curiosity among archaeologists. Further investigations and excavations are eagerly anticipated to shed light on this intriguing archaeological mystery and provide insights into an ancient and enigmatic civilization. Number 1. 
Lost Golden City. Archaeologists uncovered the remains of a vast ancient city buried beneath the sands near Luxor, Egypt. The city, believed to be over 3,000 years old, dates back to the reign of Pharaoh Amenhotep 313-91-1353 before Christ's existence in the 18th dynasty. It was likely used by his son and successor, Pharaoh Akhenaten, who is known for his religious reforms centered around the worship of the sun god, Aten. The discovery of this well-preserved and remarkably large city has provided valuable insights into the daily life, architecture, and urban planning of ancient Egypt. Excavations have revealed numerous structures, including residential areas, workshops, administrative buildings, and even a bakery with ovens and storage vessels. The discovery of the lost Golden City is considered one of the most important archaeological finds in recent years, shedding light on a previously unknown chapter in ancient Egyptian history. It offers a unique opportunity to study a well-preserved ancient city and deepen our understanding of the civilization that thrived during the time of Amenhotep III and Akhenaten. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.